Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becky with Becky Selman's Art Studio. How's everybody doing? I'm um, doing pretty good. It's kind of chilly here in Texas today. Um, I'm going to, I wanted to come back. Um, I had a lot of positivity off of my uh, Rex Selman Spiral uh, on uh, some of the groups. So I'm going to come back and I'm just, I've, I've got my regular spinner. We're going to try this on a regular spinner. Um, so that way, um, let's see if we can do this, a regular spinner. Uh, that way people aren't running around to try to find a pottery wheel. Um, it might not work. This uh, technique's probably going to be harder to do it this way. But we're going to give it a go. I've got my tool that I always use. I don't know what happened, but I lost my ball on the end of this one. So I may, oh, I may end up using this one. It's a little bit bigger ball. It's going to throw a bigger bit, bigger drag line. So I may not have to wreck it as much. Um, so the colors that I'm going to be using today are her bedroom colors, and they're gonna be like in a beige, silver, and several different shades of purple, which is right up my alley. So, here we go. We're gonna start with a beige base. I'm just giving it a good, um, a base. Just kind of, this is, oh, that color is Mouse by Joe Sonia. That is a background color. That's what it's called. Um, it is not a tube paint. It is an eight ounce bottle. Um, so, and you know, of course, all of my paints are mixed with mix pour. So, um, you can message Krista. She has her own Facebook, pa uh, sorry, YouTube pa channel, Krista Rasmussen Art, or you can email her at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Okay, that is Deco Arts Sterling Silver. Um, the purple that I put down first, um, that was Folk Art Purple Shift. This is the um, Global Colors Purple. I am going to add a little bit of glitter this is just a holographic glitter and mix pour it's not a lot i'm just going to do that and give that a little bit of a reckon then i've got a little bit of lilac left i'm going to add into this um, then we're going to come back and add Some more mouse. On top. I know this seems like a whole lot of paint, but we are going to spin it off. So I'm going to add, I'm going to create one more layer of these paints. But they're going to be smaller, um, smaller dots. to give more contrast. I'm losing some over the edge and that's fine. You know, that's perfectly okay in this camp. 
to lose a little paint. Um, where's my sterling silver? Okay. I just want a drop. Because I added so much sterling silver the first go round that I don't want it to take completely over. Um, then we're going to add the Global Colors Purple because it dries so dark. I think it's going to be a good contrast with these colors. Um, here we go with the some more glitter. Just in odd places. Um, these are random puddles. There's no rhyme or reason to my puddling. Obviously, you're going to drag colors through colors. So, I'm going to try to hold it still and do this drag. But I'm going to try to get as close to my second drag line as I possibly can. Every drag line needs to stay as close as I can get it. Because when you spin it, you're going to open it up and you don't want a lot of negative space. Besides, we're going to wreck it anyway on the edges. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to wreck, and I'm just going to wreck. You're not going to wreck the edge edge, because when you spin it, you're going to spin it off. So you're going to wreck around about, probably about here, and you're just going to wreck it however you want to. But you want to wreck like that. Now we're going to make sure Okay. Let's spin it. I've lost some over my edge, but that's okay. It's okay in this camp. Just got to make sure I get the colors over the edges. So, which is perfectly fine. I can always pull some of that pattern up and coat the sides like that. Give it a good coating. Um, Okay, so I don't like that center. I think there might be a bugger there. Dead gummit. Okay, so I got my tweezers. And this is more of a pink palette than a purple palette. So I might add some purple. Or 
Where did that booger go? Oh, there it is. There we go. I got it. Okay. Then we'll fix this area. Okay, because I like that more of a more drag. That is just I'm gonna drag that around. Open this purple or these colors up a little bit and make that drag around. So, it's all right. I don't know if this is the one. It's really, really pretty. The, let me torch it. I think the sterling silver is the reason why I lost some of the definitions definition in my color, uh, my drag lines, but that's okay. It is unique to itself. Uh, <clears throat> it will dry darker. The pinky color is the purple color shift, and it it is not the pink color shift. It is the purple color shift, and it will dry and create a pretty purple to um, kind of a more of a purple than a pink. So I will show y'all that in a dry in another video. Let me pull out the piece that I did a video on yesterday and, and posted it. It is dry today. This is the dry version of that coaster. So, that's a pretty nice, the colors did pop in that when it dried and darker. So, that's what I'm hoping for this coaster. Very unique, soft, and purple. Um, I am going to send a picture of this to her and see if she likes this. If she does, this will be a winner. And then on to the next one. All right. Thanks. That's how you do the Rex Selman Spiral. If y'all have any questions, you can email me. Um, you can get all these colors at www.beckyselmansartstudio.com uh, Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. That helps greatly to show y'all techniques that are pretty easy and that y'all can do yourself um, with help um, like this channel. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. Anyway, I'll show y'all the dried results of this in another one. Thanks and enjoy the journey.